George Hamilton as Ramrig Blondes. Kind of had to read that one out. Um, asks, who will lose out most in Heineken Cup debate? Those still in are English clubs and players. To be honest, um, I know this is a kind of lazy answer, but rugby loses out when you have this sort of fractious situation. Um, I think the English clubs have to be back in the Heineken Cup, and I think there will be a compromise to make that happen. If it doesn't, I could see them going out of business in the future. <laughs> um, Brighty, I have to say his full title, at John Nada Bright, asks, how does he really, in exclamation marks, feel about Bod not being picked for Lyons' last test? I haven't heard his opinion on the matter. Um, I'm hoping there's a sense of irony in that. Um, I think everybody knows he should have been picked. Well, I think he should have been picked. Um, I still think our, um, the Lions would have won. The reason to pick O'Driscoll was not for what he had done in the past, but it was that he kept an awful lot more options open. Christian asks, are there players out there that have been overlooked by Ireland? Uh, I don't think so at the present moment in time. I don't think there's any one player you'd say has been left out of the squad. Um, but the next few months matter a huge amount. There's a change happening in this Irish team. There's a lot of guys over 30. And it's the guys that put their hands up the most and the earliest and the most consistently are the guys who are going to get drafted into the squad. Conor Meany asks, What are your memories of the 95 World Cup and Nelson Mandela's presence? Could you feel something special happening? Um, my memories of it are a bit different, uh, to be honest, Connor. I played in the World Cup. Um, I hated it because I got very badly injured in Blumfontein. Um, my memory of the final and watching Mandela in the number six jersey, um, Pinar's jersey, handing over the, um, the trophy to Francois Pinar was amazing. I watched it from my hospital bed in London um, post-surgery on my shoulder. Um, I didn't really know how important it was, though you could see that there was a sense of magnitude about having these two great leaders standing side by side, one black, one white. Um, I think in the time afterwards, when you look and reflect on it, it was one of the turning points for South Africa and for rugby in South Africa. Tommy O'Donoghue asked, Hi Woody, if you could change a law or bring in a new law for the game, what would it be? Um, I don't think I'd change it. I would just try and see if we could get the referees to hurry up a little at scrum time. That's the only thing that's bugging the life out of me. Beth Begg asks, what would be the best Christmas present this year? Well, my best Christmas present would be if the Irish rugby team fully believed in the last five minutes of the really big matches. Because if they do, I think they can beat anyone.